For the summer reading challenge this year, Bournemouth Library are giving out these makeaway craft bags and inside you can find some odds and ends and recycled materials that you can turn into for endangered sea creatures. However, you can easily find these materials yourself. You do need one of these craft bags to follow along with these activities. So these activities include a sea otter, a seedy sunfish, a seal and a turtle. Don't forget to pop down to one of our BCP libraries this summer because we have lots and lots of new books for you, all for this year's Summer Reading Challenge. And there are picture books, books with information on how to save the planet, storybooks, lots and lots of new books, especially for this Summer Reading Challenge. If you want some information on how to join the Summer Reading Challenge, there is a video linked in the description below. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sea turtle from a paper bowl and some recycled card. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you a few facts about the sea turtle. So the sea turtle is a reptile. It's an omnivore, which means it eats both plants and other animals. It feeds on vegetation, crabs, jellyfish, mollusks, all types of things like that. Its habitat is shallow waters and open seas, bays and beaches. It ranges from 2 to 7 feet and it can weigh 70 to over a thousand pounds from like babies to adults and it is endangered. So sea turtles make long migration journeys between feeding and breeding areas. Sea turtles mate at sea and then travel ashore to lay their eggs. Females dig a hole in the sand and deposit up to 1,000 eggs, cover it up and then return to the sea. The leatherback is the largest sea turtle and can weigh a whopping 2,000 pounds. It's the only sea turtle that does not have a bony shell. It is flexible and rubbery to touch. The shells of other sea turtles are made from thick plates called scutes. Six out of seven species of sea turtles are threatened and endangered. This is largely due to human impacting, in the form of hunting, fishing, pollution and climate change. You can find all of this information and more information on other endangered sea creatures in this booklet, which you can find in the craft bag or a link to a printable version in the description down below. So now let's make our sea turtle. You will need a paper bowl, some stickers, some card, some googly eyes. And these are all in the craft bag, but you can use your own materials. And you also need to add your own scissors, glue and colouring supplies. I'm using crayons. So on the piece of card, I have an old subject divider here, which we have many of in the library. So we decided to recycle them this year and make some sea turtles rather than just throw them away. And you need to draw four legs like I've done here four feet and also a tail in a triangle shape and also a head which is the same shape as the legs but just a little bit bigger. I'm adding a little smiley face and some nostrils and then you have to cut them out very carefully like I'm doing here. You can also decorate these if you want to, it's totally up to you. And once you have cut them out, it's time to decorate your bowl. You can use a paper plate. If you don't have a paper bowl, it will work just as well. I'm using the stickers from the craft bag. You can use whatever stickers you have at home. You can paint it. You can color it with crayons, felt tip pens, coloring pencils. It's totally up to you. I'm just adding some crayon markings here just to show you. But this is your chance to get as creative as possible. Maybe you've got some recycled newspaper or some other recycled materials you would like to use on your sea turtle. And once you have decorated the bowl like this, then you need to glue the parts of the turtle that you have made, the face like this, the four legs and the tail. And you just need to press hard for a couple of seconds just to make sure it sticks. And you need to do the same with each of the parts of the turtle like this and there you have a finished turtle and as a final step you can add some googly eyes which are included in our craft bags but if you don't have any googly eyes you can just draw your own eyes on that's perfectly fine too so here we have our finished sea turtle why don't you see if you can make one maybe you want to pick up one of the craft bags from Bournemouth library or you want to make your very own inspired by this design 
But that's all for this video. Look out for some more BCP library craft videos on some more endangered sea creatures very soon.